need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space Then we go back to Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you again. Give me verse 48. To show you that, yes, as a nation right now, we are in captivity because we're serving the so-called white man right now. We are serving the so-called other nations right now. At one point in time in the future, they will serve us. They will bow down and serve us. They will. No, not right now. No. Why? Because I'm going to show you a simple fact that they can walk up in somebody's house and kill them while they're laying in their bed. Brianna, what's it? Brianna Taylor? Was it Brianna? Right. We ain't in rulership. Come on now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Come on. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. What did God say? Thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. God said, I sent them. That's how I know where it's like. I personally sent them for your disobedience. Read on. In hunger. And what? How do we serve them in hunger? Think about it today. Where do you got to go? Uh, can you go to... Uh, my man's or one of your man's uh, 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 Walmart's for us to grab all of your food and supply your house with food. Can you do that? I literally did not. Who do we have to go to for that? Oh, you mean can I go and buy stuff? As far as like in general, who do you go to to get your foods? Can you go in your backyard or whatever and pick out all of your resources and all that and, and, and you know feed your family with that? Do we do that? No, I can go and pay somebody and they'll serve you food. Right, but who do we go to for that? The people who was supposed to serve us. There we go. So guess what? We go to them. God said, you're not supposed to even be doing that. That's to let you know that guess we're not a free nation. We got to go to them for that. We don't own the Walmarts. Say it again. But the Edomite is serving me. You said Edomite is serving, you, Edomite is serving you? Yeah. you have to go to them for that. To yeah. buy those things. That's not serving. That's not serving. Right. You're buying a you buying a service from them. Right. Your yeah, money is going back in their pockets. That's what's going on. They're getting richer off of it's that. A trade. It's a trade. It's a trade. Guess what? We're not even supposed to be doing business with them. They're not profiting off of it. Oh yes, they are. Walmart is a multi-million dollar company, and guess what? It's based off when our buy, when money. I buy right. stuff from them, right? I buy stuff to use. I use. Them. Now, the, my point being is, do our people own that? You know, everything. They don't. They don't. God, guess what? But that prophecy, make it for me. That, that prophecy comes true because you ain't going to your nation for that. You go to their nation for that. Right. Key read. Right. And in thirst. And then what? All right, so where do you go and get your what you uh your waters and all of that stuff? Where do you go? Do you go to the aquifers in your backyard? And no, I go and then the people serve the water to me. And guess who owns that? That's the point. Don't we don't own it. Anytime we don't own it. They're going to give me whatever I want. If you don't pay your bill, who's turning right. your water off? Right. Is, am I doing that? It's a service. It's a service. So you also, which is, all right, who owns that service? Because as a nation, we don't own that service. That's right. That's what I want you to see. God's dealing with on a bigger scale. Yeah. That's how he deals with those things. And guess I what? Contract for, I, I used to contract with you. Good, but guess what? So, so with that being said, at one point in time, we didn't have to worry about that. Having to pay for uh, uh, um, um, going and for these, so our nation for, wasn't even dealing with that stuff. stuff yes, we did, but the point is, guess who owned that? Your people. Right. We don't. Our people don't own that stuff now. God right. said, why? Because of our disobedience, you're going to serve them for these things now. So you encouraging are things, us to buy black. Say it again. You encouraging us to buy. I'm buy black. encouraging you to buy Israel. That's what right. I'm saying. That's what right. I'm encouraging right. you to do. Right. But I'm just okay. showing you okay, on you. a scale that guess what? We're not free. We have to serve these people for these things. Right. You have to get a job nine and say guess that nine times out of ten we gotta make it and that's the idea mm -hmm. to come out from them because of some of the fact that guess who owns that stuff our nation don't own that stuff on a large scale right. god said verse 48 this you're going to serve your enemies the people i put over you the same people who put us in chains mm -hmm. and brought our black tails over here you're going to have to serve them for these things because guess what the point being is, at one point in time god was we our supplier was god 
God was serving us with these things. Right. But not no more because we disobeyed him. So he said, you don't want to serve me? I'm going to let you serve your enemies. Right. And see how far you get with that. But Read verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, uh -huh. what else? and in nakedness. Your clothing. We got to go to them for clothing. We don't own these textiles on a, on a large scale. God said, you're going to serve your enemies, the people who hate you, for these things. Keep reading. And in what of all things? Death certificate, birth certificate, bank statements, your job, social security. I can't go to another black man for that. He don't own that. The white man owns that. That's right. Get, give me Job. Job 924. We're not supposed to serve us? We... I want you to see we disobeyed God, so we're serving them. I'm so well, we coming out of that, but what I'm saying is we were it's, it's a transition going on is what I'm I, talking and about. And the transition is come back to God's law so I can put y'all back on top. That's, that's, right. that's the transition. You, you already got it. We don't have it right now is the point. That's no, why we out here. Once you cross over, you get that. You yes, get but guess what it takes? It takes you keeping all the laws of God for God to bless us with that. Give me right. Joe. Give, give, yeah, yeah. Um, what, just to, to, to clear up a point, uh, I hear what you're saying. Uh, you're saying that because we go buy these things from people, they serving us still, right? Right? Yeah. Like, right. Like you go pay for service, and they have to do that service that you pay for, right? Yeah. What's the right. difference between I, then and that? The, the point that the, the brother's trying to say is, you are not supposed to pay for anything That's right. from their hands. They're in turn supposed to pay for things from your hands because the Bible says that the world was made for your sake. That's so, right. Them being able to turn your water off should not even be a thing. Right. The fact that they have the ability to stop water or they can literally make it to where the grocery stores in your, they can gentrify your entire community. Right. They can right. come into your community, tear down all of the houses, break down all of the grocery stores, turn the water off, turn the electricity off, and then move their people into it. Okay. That, that means that you're the servant because they have the ability to change your entire existence, right, your right. entire community. They have the ability to legislate things, meaning they have the ability to write things into law. They can say it's legal for a man to marry a man. Can you do that? Can I say can that? You, can, you, can you make it legal by law? Uh, that, that I'm they saying it. I can. They law. did it. They did make <laughs> it legal by law. They made. That's not an illusion. A <laughs> man illusion. can literally, by law, so marry a man. The real law. Doesn't matter what they're going to suffer. We understand that. But what the brother is saying is that they have the power right now, the world in their hands, and to do and um and because they have that power in their hands, they can literally make your life a living hell or tell you you need to vote. Or take away your voting privileges, or put you in prison, or tell you who you can marry, or whatever the, they can do that. Right. So in that sense, you're the servant because right. they have the world. But the brother's saying that you're supposed to have the world. Right. You're supposed right. to be able to legislate and That's tell right. them you can't do that. You, you know can't do because the Bible says so, brother. <laughs> so no, that brother, that not, no. They, they, about me. They're not serving you, bro. You're oh, serving yeah, them. Nah, that serving. that's an illusion. No, nah, they you serving. think you they think really you serve it, but you're not serving. Okay. Here's the point. Job 9:24. Okay. Watch this. You you believe the Bible, right? I'm in the Bible. Not, not, from cover to cover, Genesis I'm to Revelation, you believe. Bible. All right, well, <laughs> you know this. Job 9:24. This is thus saith the Lord. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So we understand that who the wicked is. Do you understand who the wicked is? Okay. Who is that? What is the enemy? The adversary? The enemy, the adversary? Thus saith the Lord, who the wicked the, the is. The culture that's um, Malachi. capitalizing off our people, off our old people. What man is that? What man is that? Uh -huh. That's the spirit. Nah, watch this. Thus saith the Lord. Malachi. We're going to read thus one in verse four. Malachi, one, God labels who the wicked is. So it's one man doing it. One man doing that. He's right. going to all talk. Yeah, that's why like I brought men. you here. One like, man. Like no, men. his his race is doing that. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord. Malachi 1 4. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Listen up. No. This is not my words. This is the Bible. No, no. Read. It's, 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 it's Whereas Edom saith. I'm just reading the Bible. Who? Edom saith. We are impoverished, uh -huh. but we will return and build the desolate places. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. they shall build, but I will throw down. Who, give me verse 3. Who's the wicked? Verse 3. 
and I hated Esau. Oh, verse, oh, go back to four. Yes, Get the point. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Of what? Of wickedness. And what man is that? Go back to Job 9.24. What man is that? You tell me. I'm going to let the Bible tell you. Oh, right. <laughs> Read verse 4. Read again, because I don't think you're listening. Read verse 4. Yes, sir. Whereas Edom. Who is Edom? The red hairy dude and his people, are they not still here to this day? Some of them here. No, the white man is here today. Not That's right. who Edom is. Right. The, no, the white, you see, you just seen a white, yeah, if I you look over, someone. they're here. That's who the wicked is. And guess what God says about them and their people? Back to Job 9, 24. Okay. Read this. Verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Of who? The wicked. Who is the wicked? We just said it. Edom. God said, I gave them the earth. They're in rulership right now. That's who rules earth. That's who makes the shots. That's who make the calls. Them and their people. Not us right now. But the problem is, you need to see that because of our sins, give me, give me, um, give me back Deuteronomy 28. Because of our sins, we are, what, we're what? supposed to be in the position of rulership. And we have to come out of our sins to get that rulership back. Right. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I, I'm a, and I'm going to show you I'm some more. Right? Yeah. What, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is this. I know what you're talking about. Good. But I don't see it from your perspective. I'm bringing I'm, the Bible's perspective. Personally, I don't. Once once I crossed over, the world had no more control over me. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't see, I can see what you're saying because people need that, that haven't crossed over. But for people who have crossed over, you're, you're, you're shooting past me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Like, okay. It, it, I'm already with you. Uh -huh. This is what I'm saying. All right, so I'm he's, already with you. All right. I'm not into, I don't see. Uh, I, I get what you're saying, and I'm going to show you something. Like ruling me. I, see, I see what you're you know saying, and I'm going so to show you something. Like what that. we're trying to show you is this. Bro, you're not doing all of the laws right now. Right. And here's proof of that. Well, how do you know? The say of the me? Lord, Numbers 118. Oh, man. I'm gonna show, see that that proof. If you believe this no. Bible, you gonna humble yourself, no, no, bro. I, Simple as that. I believe the Bible. Give me fringes. I'm to tell you. Okay, well, we'll give you a law. <laughs> Numbers one and fifteen. You you believe you believe in the Bible? Numbers fifteen thirty eight. Read what you got. The book of Numbers, chapter fifteen, verse thirty eight. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. We are the children of Israel, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're the children of Israel. Keep reading. And bid them. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments Come on. throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. Mm -hmm. Does that state uh, stay a specific generation now, or? I got a question. Like, because we are visual people, right? Mm -hmm. Original Hebrew, you know, it's pictorial, right? Little symbols of pictures and stuff, right? So, what I'm saying, when I. fringes, crowns, and all this other stuff. It's symbolic. Fringes, I'm connected. That's why I got fringes on. That's why the Native Americans got fringes on. You know, because when you cross over, you are connected. And so we walk around with the fringes. Okay, so. You understand what I'm saying? All right. My okay. point being is, give me Ciroc 19. Also, my point being is this is a law. You understand that this is a law, I right? I know the law, right. bro. Okay, but you're not doing them. That's the point. That's why we're bringing this I out. I know that. Because I can visually see. I don't see any fringes, bro. Oh Watch God. that in Sirach chapter 19. I just told you fringes are symbolic. You can have those fringes on right. and read, you can read, still read, be a false prophet. 19 verse 29. You can have those 29. fringes on and still read, be a devil. About the image of a the man. The fringes don't 19. make you saved. They don't give you nothing symbolic. It's all yeah. symbolic. Read this. I got you. Read this. The book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 30. A man's attire. A man's attire is something I can physically see, right? Read. And excessive laughter. Something I can physically see, right? And gait. Show what he is. Show what he is. I'm visually looking at you. And a law that we visually have to do is put fringes on, bro. Right. That's all I'm stating with that. So you're saying you're a law keeper, right? This is a law. Whoa, As your yeah, brother, yeah. my job is to discover what? Your iniquity. I don't see fringes with a border of blue on. I can't even see your fringes. You can't they're see not there. me at all because you, you always, Bruh, you know what, you know what, what the Christ problem say? is? What did Christ I'm say? I'm going to tell y'all what the problem Matthew, is with this. 
Matthew don't chapter. Don't always assume that no. people don't know, and that's why that's Matthew, why I don't I didn't assume that way. anything. I'm you, looking you at you visually. You just assume that I don't know. I'm not but assuming that's that. That's not the truth. Let's say the Lord. No, yeah. it's all hey, symbolic. Bro. You just impression. assume that I don't know, on, bro. and no. that's why I don't work like I, that, bro. We we not assuming anything, bro. Hold on, and I'm gonna tell you why we. I'm gonna tell you why we're not assuming anything, right? Give me uh, Acts real quick. Acts 2, you know what I'm talking about? It's a, uh, I think it's like 36, something like that. Right? Because basically, bro, uh, what the brother's going into is we have to keep the laws, bro. Like, we have to. I it's didn't, that, it's that I didn't say that. On. I didn't say hold we didn't on, have bro. to hold keep on, bro. the laws. We already know the laws. Hold on, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. But it, it's, yes, in a sense, it is symbolic, but that doesn't mean we don't have to, to like, do it. Fringes is a law. And it's symbol. Matter of fact, give me okay. fringes. Give me, give me fringes. Fire in the hold eyes, on, right? bro. I'm going to show you what fringes are. A lot of stuff in the Bible is are a symbol of. I'm going to show you, you what know. fringes are a symbol Because the brother read that it's supposed to be throughout your generation. Are those your, your kids, if you don't mind me asking? Those are your children? These are my children. All praises. They're a generation, just like your generation, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what fringes are symbolic of. Because you're right, they are symbolic. But of what? Right? Read. Numbers 15 and 38, Read. speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generation. Just like you said, those are your children, right? So you're a generation, they're a generation. When they have children, they're going to be a generation. So he says, as long as you're generating, as long as you're having kids, you're supposed to wear this thing. Why? What is it symbolic of? Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, Read. and it shall be unto you. For a fringe, that ye may look upon it. That you may what? Look upon it. If I'm not wearing fringes, can I look upon fringes? Gee. Okay. Uh, answer the question, bro. You're not a wearing answer fringes. Answer the look brother. Fringes. Answer the question. If I'm wearing, if I'm not wearing if, them, if you can I look? If, on, I can't see them, right? I, right. Meaning saying. you can't look upon it, right? Okay, but read that part again. I'm gonna I'm deal. I'm gonna deal patiently with you, bro. One thing at a time. We're not gonna jump around. One thing at a time. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it. And do what? And remember. And what? And remember. So you're supposed to see them visually and remember what? All the commandments of the Lord. And what? And do them. And what? And do them. So right. You're right. They are symbolic. Right. What they symbolize is when you see them. Let's say I have a, a whoremonger spirit. Let's say I have the mind to go after my sisters on the beach dress them modestly, sleep with them, but not marry them, not take care of the children that they bear me, right? When I look at these fringes and I see that, they remind me, you know what the law says, thou shalt not commit adultery. Right. right. These are a flag to say, I'm supposed to be doing that. People see me wearing these, they know I'm supposed to be doing that. So guess what? This is accountability, brother. That's right. That's what they symbolize, holding yourself accountable. Without them, there is no accountability. That's right. right. So you understand? All, when we was here, as the as the Hebrews, did we have fringes on? Yes, because they ga God gave those yeah, to us from okay. Christ Himself. When, give me, when give me we Christ. Were naked, yeah, give me Christ. Matthew nine, fringes? and then give me the Zion of it. I'm gonna we show you Christ. Naked, you, you, when we were stripped from brother, our clothes brother, and everything, did we brother, have fringes? When we went into slavery, when we was in captivity. Uh, bro, of course, they didn't let us. Okay, but were we in the law? Bro, when we was in slavery, no, we none weren't in the us, law. None of us. You saying none of us? But that's a curse, bro. When, when we were taken into slavery, of course they took our heritage so, from so, us. All right, right. So that doesn't I'm make saying, it right. This is what I'm trying to say. So, so if that being said, I ain't got these fringes on, right? Right. Right. But I know One. what they are. Right. Right. The, and I explained what they was. Give me, um, you James know what I'm saying. So what I'm saying 17. is, when we, when we can get past, um, you don't know this, you don't know that. When we can come together for real. Right. You know, and build like we could have been building, but we 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 bump our heads because you think I don't know what's we're in not, here. We're not, we're not, bro. It's not about knowing what's in here. It's about knowing and doing. Read this Look, because you finish. can know, you I can know finish. something, bro. I can know how to build yeah. a car, but if I never build a car, what does it profit me? When I Look. say, all right, like, like this, right? Um, we're, we're all over the world, right? right? And Fact. you got people who wearing fringes. In different cultures, like I can go to Tibet and I see people with fringes on, right? Right. I can go to um, China and see people with fringes on. Right. I can go to Japan or wherever. I can go all these places and people are wearing fringes, right? Uh, the Native Americans, when they they had fringes on, they knew who they were. Okay, but what happened to them? The curses had to happen, okay, bro. But it was prophetic. But they still, we but still they had still to pay for our sins. Read what you got, real quick, because you said you you know, right? You know, and I it's good to know, know. but. 
you have to do. Read what you got. Because you know a lot, bro. I, we heard you. You understand who you are. And that's good. But that doesn't absolve you from doing what's expected of you I knowing that. Know Read what you got. It. Because I can see it, bro. Read. Oh, man. The book of James, chapter 4, oh. verse 17. Read. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. The scriptures say to him that knoweth to do good. What is good? The law, brother. Read it. And doeth it not. And you're not doing it, bro. We ain't out here to hurt you or hurt your feelings or nothing. But guess what? The scriptures say, if you know that we got to keep the law and you don't do it, to him it is what? To him, it is sin. It is what? It is sin. Bro, that's the Bible, bro. You even believe or you don't. Right. You even believe or you don't. Right. Uh, Zephaniah 1 and 8, and then we're going to wrap it up, bro. Zephaniah 1 and 8, bro. You got to repent, bro. You got to get back to keeping the laws, knowing you Israel. The, the Pharisees knew that they were Israelites. The scriptures say, think not to say that you are uh, Abraham's seed. So knowing you Israel don't mean nothing, bro, if you don't do what's expected of you as an Israelite. Right. Right. Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Read. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice Read. that I will punish the princes uh -huh. and the king's children Read. and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. A uh, Israelite man not wearing fringes is strange apparel, bro. That's right. right. And, the, and then that day is going to be punished, meaning you're going to get put to death. Right. It is what it is, bro. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.